Let's run through mood boards. In order to create a mood board, navigate to mood boards within your project. From here, you can either start from scratch with a blank canvas, or you can start from a template that you've created earlier. Let's first see how templates work. Templates can be very useful for you if you wish to stick to a consistent branding throughout all your mood boards. This could be, for instance, including a header or a footer. Here's an example of a template that I'm using. I want my logo on all mood boards to be in the lower left corner and a header in the top right corner. I can save this as a template by clicking Actions and then Save as Template. Now you'll always be able to start from this template just by clicking on it and won't have to create the branding all over again when working on a new mood board. You also have the option to start from scratch. The system will ask you to assign the new mood board to a room. You can either select from the list or create a new one by typing it in. And now you're all set to start working on your mood board. Let's first take a look around. On the panel on the right hand side, you'll find all the different possibilities to add items to your mood board. By default, the source tab is the one that will be opened. This is the House Marketplace catalog where you have a wide selection of furniture, lighting, and much more at your disposal. The library is where you can access all products and services that are saved within your House Pro library. In both tabs, the library and the source, you have a convenient search bar that will help you to quickly find what you're looking for. The Idea Books tab will show all images that you've saved to your House Idea Books. In Images, you can easily upload files from your computer by clicking Add New. Paint colors are always a great addition to any mood board. You can pick a color swatch from our partnerships with Benjamin Moore or Sherwin Williams. You have the option to show details or hide details so that it's just a square. In 3D floor plans, you can find all the floor plans that you've created and add them to your mood board. Lastly, the Project Items tab is automatically organized for you. Whenever you assign a product or service to this specific project, either through the clipper or the library, it will appear here. From either of these tabs, there are two methods to add items onto your mood board. You can either click on the item and it will be added to the center of your board, or you can click, drag and drop, and it will be added to the position where you drop your cursor. Before looking at the top navigation, let's add some items to the mood board. There are plenty of actions to take for every item that's being added to the mood board. You can click and hold the corners to make the item smaller or bigger. You can rotate by clicking and pulling the dot. And there are plenty of other things to do through this action menu. Most of it's very self-explanatory. You can duplicate an item, flip it, and you can find all product information for items that are taken from the House Pro Marketplace. You can crop and choose a rectangular or a circle shape when doing so. You can arrange an item to be in the front or back. The skew function is a great one. Let's say I want to show this rug in perspective like it's under the sofa. All I have to do is click the skew button and this allows me to pull each corner individually so I can put it into perspective, click OK, and then send it back so it sits behind the sofa. Now let's look at the edit background option. By default, House Pro will automatically remove the background of all images that you add to a mood board. If you don't want this to happen, you can go to Settings and uncheck this box. When you add an item now, the background will not be removed automatically. Additionally, you also have the option to manually edit your image by clicking on Edit Background. A pop-up will open, allowing you to choose a brush mode and a brush size to make all your edits. On another note, this is also where you have the option to fully restore the background of an image. Once you're done editing, simply click Apply. The last thing we're going to look at is the menu on top of the canvas. First of all, you can add text. Just click anywhere on the canvas to get started with typing your text. To change the letter size, you can either drag the corners or click here. Click either of these buttons to make your text bold or italic. Here you can choose the color of your text, and over here you can change the font. This pencil lets you do free form drawing in case you want to do any annotations or callouts. With the arrow tool, you can draw an arrow, and if you wanted, you could also change the shape to be a straight line. The measure tool here is great for helping you to indicate to your client what the size of something is. Finally, now that we're done, let's go ahead and share the mood board. You can go ahead and save it as a PDF, and make sure to change the landscape layout. Or a more convenient way to share the mood board with your client is by clicking share. Just get that email ready, hit send, and your client will receive an email with a link to view the mood board digitally. Go ahead and give it a try yourself. If you have any questions at all, please know we're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.